And I want to hear from you, which of my workouts is your favorite? Which of my workout videos have you done more than any of the others? Comment below or even better yet, post the link to that video. Thank you. Thank you very much. And if you want more twists and wraps, then you got to get my best-selling paperback, Power Yoga for Athletes from Fairwinds Press. Got that right in there. More, more blue. By the way, it's Friday, and we're expecting 18 to 30 inches of snow right where I'm filming here. Springtime in the Rockies. It's the middle of April. It's just fantastic. It's fantastic. All right, let us begin. A few flows to get the blood going. By the way, wearing my Pilates for Athletes shirt, that video, that, I mean, I'm sorry, it's a new book. It comes out the end of this month, April, Pilates for Athletes, on Amazon and iTunes. Okay, I'm gonna keep the socks on because it's rather chilly, but once I get moving, I actually feel really good. Downward facing dog, we got the gloves on. They were a gift from my sister-in-law, so I'm required by law to wear them. Let's inhale forward to plank position, press forward, Hover elbows in, slowly lower down. We want everything to move nice and smooth. Now press up upward facing dog, or you can bring the forearms down, little twist side to side. Lifting, lifting, and take it back. Let's do two more flows. This will be a good comprehensive yoga flow, focusing on twists and wraps and everything in between, X, and a lot of shoulder flexibility, release, and mobility. Little twist side to side. Like always, we'll keep it spontaneous. I wrote out a whole workout, but a lot of times we change directions all the time, right in the middle of it. Let's go one more time. Press forward, slowly. <sighs> Down, and then press up. I hope I'm colorful enough today. Rap videos require a plethora of reds and blues, I've heard. That's the rumor. Okay. Downward facing dog. Now bring the feet out a little wider. Take your left hand across, grab that leg, and pull. Anytime you need to modify, do it. Modify is needed. Always use control. Do two more breaths. We'll hold these for different durations. Always breathing deep. Each exhale, twisting a little bit more. All right. Come back to the center. Bring the forearms down. Little wide legged dolphin. Three breaths. <sighs> Addie is standing guard. Now up, and there's a hole in my sock. Oh my, oh what am I doing? Okay, right hand across, and we twist. There we go, three breaths. This is great. I've been filming like crazy lately, and working out, and teaching, and everything else, so I love doing these twisting, stretching videos with you. All right, again, bring the forearms down. Three breaths, wide-legged dolphin. We're getting the blood flowing, get the circulation moving so that our muscles are very pliable, like warm huckleberry taffy from Big Fork, Montana, one of my favorite places. <sighs> All right, walk the hands up. Let's bring it up to a wide-legged. Catch your breath, and it's caught. Wide-legged forward fold. Come on down. I want you to grab the opposite arm with each hand, and we're going to sway side to side. Good. You don't just jump into a wrap or a twist. You like to massage your way into it. Do all the poses and stretches and moves. It all goes together. So at the end of the routine, we get a fantastic full body flexibility training workout. And a lot of core work as well. All right. Inhale, flat back. Take the fingers on the, hi, on the floor or the legs. Draw the shoulders back. Take an extra breath here, lift up a little higher. You want a nice long spine, press your tailbone back into the woods. All right, come on down. Let us uh, let me mirror you. Go to your right leg here, grab it, and then exhale, try to be on right on top of it, or you can wrap this right arm around and pull gently. So you're going to the outside and down. Good, always modify. Two more breaths. Beautiful. Now drift across the other side. There we go. Five breaths. Each exhale lengthen from behind the knee. Always use the exhale to go a little deeper into those beautiful twists and wraps and whatever. Don't worry so much about that. Just be in the moment with each stretch. 
in with each sock. One more breath. All right, back to the center, flat back. Shoulders are back, good. Hi. What is it, Addie's okay? Now, rising up, take the, I'll give you a side view here. We come, a nice wide stance, lace the fingers together behind you. Open the chest, and let's bring it to a mudra flat back. So come halfway down. On the inhale, lift the arms up. On the exhale, draw them back. Be careful, you don't wanna to pull too hard on the arms or the shoulders. If this is too much, just reach the arms back or cross them on your lower back. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, bend the knees a little bit. Come on down. Now, keeping with that movement, sway it side to side. Bend the knee a little bit as your body comes to that leg. Deep, steady breathing. Keep some attention on your head, on your brain. If you feel lightheaded, come back up or have a seat. All right, two more breaths. Just dive the top of the head down. There we go. And once more. Woo. Christmas came early. All right, drop the arms. <laughs> Inhale, rising up, rising up. Take it slow, take it slow. All right, let us come to a low warrior wrap. All right, let's bring that left foot. No, actually, uh, I'll mirror you. Take, take your right foot forward. Turn the other one in. We're gonna bend that knee, keep the knee and the ankle nice and lined up. Now take the arms out, we're gonna reach. Take this right hand, bring it around. Other hand can be on the leg and let this other leg slide out. Good, nice little wrap. Three more breaths. Are you still there? Okay. <laughs> Okay, fantastic. Now, keep this hand back here. Take the other one, reach it up. Good. We're binding. We're leading into the warrior wrap. W-R-A-P. Reaching up. Now, if you want to go further, take this arm to the lower back. Oh, I'm going to tip over. Okay. Draw the left shoulder back. And if you want to go to the full warrior wrap, I just love saying that. Meet those hands together behind you and open up. My socks are, I might have to go barefoot here. Barefoot, do you dare? Good. Three more breaths. Open up. All right, very nice. Turn, give yourself a pyramid stretch here. So we keep throwing in all these extra stretches, both the feet forward. That, that sock is beyond repair. Exhale, hinge. Each exhale, lengthen from behind the knee. Again, don't forget in the comment section, let me know which of my videos, workout videos, have you done more than any of them? Which one? I think the movie I've watched more than any other movie is Star Wars, A New Hope. I guess that's episode four. Don't worry about that. All right, let's rise up. Keep the feet where they are, so let me fix that sock. Sock maintenance, you know. So we keep those legs there. Now, we're gonna add that mudra. Lace the fingers, get a little back bend here. These all go towards our wrap twist cause. Let's hinge forward. Good, point those feet forward. You can dive a little bit to the center, to the inside of that leg. Three more breaths. Okay, and while we're here, one more time, pick your wrap. I'm gonna go warrior wrap. Just have to remember all this on the other side. And if you want a little bit more, take the triangle wrap. Extend, oh, that leg, I love this one. I do this at the gym a lot. In between my weight training, calisthenics, pull-ups, squats, whatever. Three more breaths. Let it really dig in, let it dig in. All right. Oh, heck, if you want to go even further, stay there, or let me back up a little bit, bird. Oh, how are we gonna do on this bird of paradise? We lift up. Enjoy my Pilates for Athletes shirt. Enjoy more extended leg. Five breaths, I feel good. The coming storm has made me strong. It's made me focused, it's given me power. One more breath. Oh, don't you feel good? 
Don't you feel good? All right, bring it down. Let's, let's cleanse the palate. Come on down again to that wide-legged forward fold. Grab the opposite arm again, sway side to side. As you sway, you can even round the bend here. Round the corner, um the eka, right here, adding a little bit of a twist. They just sneak in everywhere, don't they? Now, see if I can remember that sequence on the other side. All right, rising up. All right, go the opposite leg. Open up into those warrior feet first. Turn that foot in, come on down. Stagger a little bit. <laughs> it's the sock. It's always the sock. Here we go. <sighs> come on down. A little proud warrior first. And then snake that left hand behind. Other hand on the leg. Open up. <sighs> Prepping. <sighs> Got to warm up that engine first. Vroom, vroom. <sighs> and then here. Oh, take that arm up. Good. <sighs> Just breathe. Just breathe. Stretch that back leg, get that good stretch there. Enjoy the hole in my sock. By the way, my cold sore is definitely on the way out. It's not contagious through the camera lens, so don't worry. Keinen Zogen. If you want more, arm behind. Oh, pull open, pull it open. Use the exhales. Jeez, I almost got some nipple showing there. I don't know if I should do that. I don't know if this is that kind of channel. Two more breaths. And then we're moving into the full wrap. All right, beautiful. Now simply take the hands, bring them together. Oh, just slide in there. Who cares? Open up, five breaths. Keep rolling that right shoulder back. <laughs> Two more. Ah, one more breath. Okay. Now, take it into that pyramid. While you're doing that, I'm gonna straighten out my feet here. You can rise up for just a moment. You wanna hinge up and over. Grab the leg or foot if you need to. Each inhale, bend the knee. Each exhale, stretch. Love the pyramid. Go a little bit to the outside. Keep that lower back loose. Two more breaths. All right, now add the mudra, rising up. Okay, bring it up. <sighs> Tell you, little wardrobe things like that, they really bug me. All right, lace the fingers. Don't let it bug you. Let me deal with that. I'll take the sock problem. You just stretch. Here we go, up and over. To the inside of the leg, if you like, five breaths. Inhale, lift the arm, exhale, dive. All right, two more breaths. Oh, this feels good. I was hitting that rope yesterday at the gym. The rope and the punching bag for a while. And squats and pull-ups, all that fun stuff. All right, returning back. Whatever wrap, you like. I'm gonna go back into full warrior wrap. Good, hi. Remember the option is to also extend, I don't know why I said it like that, extend that left leg into the triangle one. There we are. Keep rolling this shoulder back. Twist. Stretch the shoulders, loosen up those shoulders. You may stay here or you're feeling brave, <sighs> come up to bird. I'm gonna go back a little bit so you can see me. Bird of paradise. I don't know if you can see me, the whole me, and nothing but the me. And then now five breaths. Gloves are slipping a little bit. Wait, gotta grab, okay. I've got two tickets to bird of paradise. Two tickets to bird of paradise. One more breath, good. All right, my friends, come down. Whoa, okay, get that wide stance again. Let's do the mudra. 
dive down. Inhale, lift the arms, exhale, dive. Dive. Whew. Two more breaths. Feeling loose, are we? That's the rumor. All right, drop the arms, rising up. Whew. Hey, where'd you go? All right, come on down. Catcher squat, turn those toes out. A little wider than, wider than hip width, bring the hands together, sink back. This is, by the way, is a fantastic hip stretch. Hips, knees, do a little sway side to side. If this is too much, you can do the umpire. Take the forearms to the tops of the thighs and call to play. All right, side to side. Bring the feet a little wider. Press that tailbone towards the ground. Just breathe into those hips, into that knee. We accumulate so much stress, so much blockage, so many knots, and covers on those muscles and tendons and so forth, that it is imperative. It is imperative that we take time for flexibility training like this. And never be fooled. Stretching, flexibility training, yoga, these kind of things, it's very challenging. It's definitely a very intense workout, but it is essential for maximum performance, mentally, mentally, is that word? Physically and such. So take the time. All right, now for the wrap, take that right arm. I'll mirror you underneath, bring the hands around and just gently pull. You can twist your upper body towards the, uh, the right. Keep pressing down and back. One more breath. Good, now keep the feet where they are. Just take those hands forward as much as they'll go, but don't like rock forward. Keep the tailbone sinking down. Whew. If you're able to bring the forearms down. Oh, that's, that's a whoa. Oh yes. I'm now telling the catcher squat exactly what it can do with this stretch. All right, one more breath, rise up, and let's go to the other side. Left arm behind and gently, gently just stretch. With this big storm coming, got a huge pile of wood underneath the fireplace, just ready. We're all set. Man, 30 inches, 18 to 30 inches. Two more breaths. A lot of people, like my best friend, my dad, they think, they think winter's over, but they don't live here. So we got, I say we got at least three or four more huge snowstorms. Last year, uh, we had one around Mother's Day weekend. We always have one. It was like 14 inches. Fantastic. <laughs> All right, back to the center. One more time, walk those hands forward. Oh, sink those, ah, that tailbone down. <sighs> Ooh, male's here. All right, one more breath. Press, 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 press. Ah, all right, rise up, rise up. Ooh, happy, happy, happy. Bring those feet hip width, diving down. Again, grab the opposite arm with each hand and sway side to side. Keep that lower back loose and limber. Switch arms here. Wait, what am I doing? Okay, I don't know. All right, my friends, come on down. Come on down. Let's move this a little bit here. A few more surprises. Take that, uh, let's do the same leg here. Take the left leg forward. Bring the right foot flat. And, wait, how does this, yeah. <laughs> Take the right arm underneath, left arm, bring the hands together and gently stretch. Nice little twist. I shouldn't say little. It's the smallest little increments of movement that sometimes are the most profound. Ooh, put that on a shirt. <laughs> Two more breaths. We're twisting, we're twisting. All right, now take this left arm to the outside and go all the way back. Take the right hand behind you. Each exhale, twist a little more. Use the exhales, use the breath. We never want to force our way into the stretch. It'll give you a bad connotation in your brain about stretching. You won't want to do it. It's like having a bad workout experience. Keep it exciting and fun and invigorating. Ah. Okay. Now, take that foot over. 
Let's just go a little bit further. Grab this leg or bring the arm out here and we twist. There is a wrap in here, but I practiced it last night. Actually, I did it once and it was a little, uh, so we'll do, you know, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and we'll do a sequel to it. There's always more. There's always more. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> sorry about my paleness. It's been winter here for about eight months, I think. <laughs> All right, one more. Extend the right leg, grab it with your left hand and reach the right arm back. This was always a crowd pleaser when I used to teach candlelight yoga in Celebration, Florida. It was at the Platinum Dance Studio. That was a few years ago. It was 8 to 9 p.m. every Monday. For some reason, this one, I mean, I like it. They would go nuts. All right, bring that leg up. Stretch it out, stretch it out. We're just throwing in all sorts of extra credit stuff. Each inhale, soften. Exhale, Lengthen nose towards the knee. Five more times. Inhale. Exhale. Good. If you're an athlete, if you like to play sports, if you're a weekend warrior, add these to your arsenal. Keep your body limber, ready for anything. I always say, you know, do it before your rival does. Okay. Bring it down. Let's switch sides here. Bring this leg in, left arm underneath, right arm around, and twist. Exhale, twist a little bit further to the left. One more breath. Oh, that's nice. Take it a step further. Right arm here and left hand behind. You can keep walking it as your body allows, but keep your posture tall so you're not sinking down. Shoulders away from the ears. Two more breaths. Darn good stuff. Now let's go to the classic. Classic twist. This would be the, I think this is the Brahms of twists. It's either the Brahms or the Tchaikovsky. I'm not sure. Come, left foot over. Either grab or arm to the outside. Five breaths. Two more. And then grab that leg, and there we are. We'll call this the candlelight yoga one. Candlelight yoga. Some of you out there watching this video, or hopefully doing the video with me, have been to some of my live classes. That's always fun. I mean, I live in Colorado now, and but once a month, someone walks into my class. Sometimes they, they know me from my videos or they have no idea. And then I walk in and like, ah, that's really cool. I love that. I have one guy, he's an international pilot. And he walked in, we were chatting. And he goes, wait a minute, I know you. I, I did one of your yoga videos in China last week. Isn't that crazy? I love that. And then he ran out of the room screaming. So that was very good. All right, now, here we go. Ready for that big stretch? I think I am. Okay, inhale, exhale, stretch. This leg's always a little bit tighter. It's weird how your body transfers things. I should do a whole video on that. But so much of it's a mystery to me. How you feel so tight on one side, but it's actually the other side. Or you have a slight injury or a tight muscle, and that actually feels okay, but it pushes over into the other side. Transference. How interesting your body is. One more time. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And bring it down. And one of the most important things we'll ever do is shake. Oh my. That was intense. All right. Give me a straddle stretch here. Take the legs out. Now I want you to sway it back and forth. This is part of a routine I do just about every night. It leads to some really exciting things. Ha ha ha, yes. Exciting things. It's better than non-exciting things. Yeah, feel that lumbar area, the lower, lower back area loosening. Now, do a little sway touch. Touch that hand across. No matter where you are flexibility-wise, you might be further up than me or further down. You will work from where you are. 
That may sound redundant and obvious, but it's true. We all like to skip ahead. We like to sometimes push ourselves too much, and that can cause a lot of problems when you're not ready, when your body's not ready. When I started off as a singer, as an opera singer and such, I was like 19, so I would mimic. All right, we're, we're going a little further here. Let me, I'm going to tell my opera story here real quick. We're just going a little further each time. I would mimic, you know, singers who were in their 30s, 40s, 50s, Verdi singers, Puccini, you know, uh, Wagner singers. My voice wasn't there yet. Go to reach to the outside. But, you know, I would uh, pull the sound back, trying to sound like Cheryl Mills or Leonard Warren. Uh, some of the greats, Bryn Turvel, Thomas Hampson, uh, Vince Neil. Now, okay, now <laughs> let's bring it over. Let's. I'll mirror you. Boom to the right here. Take the hand. You can walk. You're just gonna keep on walking a little bit. Each exhale, go a little further. But the moral of the story, I wasn't ready yet. I mean, males, I think our voices start really maturing at 35. Fum fum dreisig. And after that, I believe women, their voices hit their prime a little earlier. Um, so I'm 41, almost 42, so I should be sounding like Thomas Hampson. We'll see. <laughs> or Vince Neil. But, uh, you know, all these lessons you learn, you don't want to jump too far ahead. Be patient. Patience, they always say, is a virtue. And uh, having patience is a wonderful thing, but it's so tough. It's just not in our nature a lot. We think we want something, but it's so much rewarding to work on it, to work, to practice, to earn it. You always have to earn it. All right, two more breaths. I'm going back, I'm going back. If you want a little bit more, take the arm underneath here. Woo, and pull. All right, let's uh, cleanse the palate here. Side bend. Reach the arm up and over. You'll be astounded at how much more more flexible you are after this routine. Please check out all the other routines that I have, uh, my YouTube channel, wherever. I do so many flexibility training videos now. They're always very popular because we all need it. No matter where you live, how old you are, it doesn't matter. You can do these. You will benefit from them. Okay, now this, <laughs> this side's a lot looser. Let's go to the other side. Again, this is our Van Dam moves here. Hey, get back on there. Good. Twisting with each exhale. Take this hand back. Use that breath to coax. It's a good debate tool. Always the breath. In a couple hours, this will be covered in snow. Snow, snow, snow. I want to be. Keep going. One more breath. Remember, you can also take the arm underneath. Oh, man. Oh, well, all right. And let's go cleanse our palate again. Side bend. Or both the arms up, doesn't matter. Hope you're enjoying this. Do a little bit more here, then we're gonna finish once again with our warrior wrap or bird of paradise option, because they're so good. Okay, let's walk it forward. Might as well milk this full stretch. You can walk here, you can take the hands and press, or something I've been working on is sliding the hands underneath the legs and hinging for, oh wow. Find your stretch, five breaths. Great shoulder stretch too. And once more, open, 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 oh, come back up. Oh, and let's bring it back up one more time for a warrior wrap or bird of paradise. Whew, okay, bring it up. Let's do the uh, right side first. Bring that right foot out, turn. Let's do a little different method for getting in. We're gonna reach proud warrior, so we come down here. <sighs> can also take the arm. To lower back, you can take this hand behind. And if you want the wrap, there it is. I'm gonna stay here for a couple breaths before I entertain myself with the bird of paradise. Good. 
There's a triangle. There it is, there it is. And then, choose it. Hey, <laughs> I'm my own worst enemy there. There we are. Gotta get a good secure grab back there. The gloves are slipping. I may present myself. Je présente Paradise de Bird. Five breaths. Hey, they didn't take the recycling. Damn, you discover the oddest things while in Bird of Paradise. One more breath. Oh, fantastic. Bring it back down. Stretch it out one more time. Stretch, 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 stretch. Okay, now come to that mudra on the center before we go to the other side. Hopefully the battery holds up in the camera. One more breath. Dive, 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 dive. Release the arms. Rising up. Okay, other side. Damn, I think half the video is sock adjustments. Right? <laughs> All right, arms out, reach. Down. Or hand behind. Choose wisely. Hey, Kleenex. I'm weeping. So emotional. Oh, I see some flurries. Wrap, if you like. Sorry, sock. Moving. I should start a Petreon. Is it Petreon? Fun for new socks. <laughs> And then triangle, lengthen the leg. Oh man, so good. Bird of Paradise option. Bird of Paradise, come on, let me grab those hands a little more secure. Okay, this is my wobblier side. Makes my voice really deep too. All right, five breaths. Oh, grab the hand. Recycling. There you are. Ah, there you are. Do not pull down on the safety bar, please. I will lower it for you. Two more breaths. Beautiful. Come on down. Finish up. One more wrap here. Open, open, open. And then, whoo, wide-legged, <laughs> even messed up my gloves. Wide-legged mudra. Oh, fantastic, my friends. <sighs> Make sure you leave a comment, your favorite video of mine, or which, also, which poses you loved in this video. Let me know how you're doing, how you're feeling, where you're from, how long you've been doing my workouts. And always go to SeanVicFitness.com order my four, I have four best-selling books right now and my free app is there and my online training program and my free e-newsletter. <sighs> and the next time you're in Barnes & Noble or Books A Million or wherever you buy your books, get yourself a copy of my best-selling paperback Power Yoga for Athletes. Many of the poses we did today are featured in this book. Also get it at SeanVeekFitness.com for men and women of all fitness levels over 100 poses, training logs, 25 workouts. Very proud of this book. Power Yoga for Athletes. What do you think, Addies? Should we head in and get some hot Oh, thank you. I tell you, nothing like nice warm dog smooches on a cold day, my friends. Oh, thank you, Addies. You want to have any messages for the Maddies? No. Dark holiday. <clears throat> That's the rumor. You retired too? Not me. I'm in my prime.